Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Friday, May 19th, 2023. Before I click through all the charts, I just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. That helps us out a great deal in being found on YouTube. Also, become a Wicked Stocks YouTube channel subscriber. You'll be provided notification each and every time new content has been uploaded uh, to our Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. That includes the daily Apple and daily Tesla reports. And check out wickedstocks.com where we offer a full suite of daily and weekly analytical videos just like the Daily Apple Report, including the Daily Triple Q Report, Daily Spy Report, Weekly Analysis, and the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, and the Long Bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the two to three week to two to three month uh, near short to near term investor crowd. Uh, and so, uh, it's all a very reasonable price package. You get a five-day free trial. If you don't like what you see within five days, you can cancel your subscription at no cost. So check out wickedstocks.com. So on to Friday's Apple report. Just a reminder that a few weeks ago, we settled above the 171.02 channel top, eliciting a long-term buy signal. There's been a lot of hesitation, but it looks to me like Thursday's rally may well be the... Um, sort of the peel away factor whereby we reach our next objective at 182.94, a three to five week target in as little as the next couple of weeks and ultimately anticipating the 218.37 long-term channel top over the next full year or sooner. The sooner would probably uh, emerge if we were to close uh, above the 182.94 uh, high from January of 22. Uh, sooner than later. You know, we can top out at 182.94 on a weekly, possibly monthly basis, fall back into the low 170s again within three to five weeks. This is actually a pretty decent three to five week play right now, buying the low 170s. The market has given you that chance uh, several times, more than several times over the last couple of weeks, and it's been holding all along, uh, buying the low 170s, 171.02, and then holding out for 182.94 as a near-term target. It's a good option options play. It's a good investment play. For those of you who trade the two to three to three to five week target, that is the play. And if we close above 182.94, uh, then it's really sort of aggressive gains as we move into third and fourth quarter, that 218.37 then in reach perhaps by the end of the year. That is the big picture. And only if we close today back below 171.02 by a 1% margin, lower right, 169.31 or lower today, that rejects that long-term buy signal outright. And with it, I would anticipate uh, at the very least over the next few weeks, two to three weeks, 158.67 and into the upper 140s. I keep saying I'm going to be drawing this channel bottom, uh, but I'm holding out because I think we're going to push higher anyway, which will result in a recalibration of it. So, you know, uh, upper 150s within two to three weeks, the upper 140s within a couple of months. That would be the idea if we were to close today back below 171.02 by the 1% margin of 169.31 or lower. But that does not look likely today. Uh, and it is really still all systems go to the upside. Yesterday, Thursday, we settled above the 173.41 short-term channel top. That is a level well-suited for day traders, able to contain session weakness, and in fact, above which today we can, and I think probably will, test the 177.09 channel top which we did actually test a couple of weeks ago when we first broke through, actually gapped above that 171.02 channel top. It can contain daily buying pressures. That is sort of the day trade. 174.59 inside of all that, is that former pullback high, that former high from about a week ago that we actually closed above on Thursday. 174.59 may well contain intraday selling and above which 177.09 in reach where a daily high can be placed. Closing above 177.09 is considered an eventuality. I wouldn't be surprised to see it today. And if so, over the next three to five days, we should make our way up to that 182.94 three to five week objective where once again, we could potentially top out through June, but be careful. I wouldn't bank on, if you will, a long-term double top here. 
I do think the writing is on the wall. Longer term bullish continuation above 171.02 is anticipated. And you can prepare for that by buying, if you haven't already, 183 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a couple of months. Or you could be so bold as to buy 220 or 230 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a full year, because I think that is the longer term target above 171.02. Now, back to the day itself, if we happen to break or open below 173.41, I think we probably have a good high for the day. I don't know if we will fall all the way back to 171.02, but we very well may. 171.02 is, by the way, backed up on the daily chart by 170.68. This area well suited to contain selling pressures once again through the rest of the year. I mean, that's the that's really the truth of the matter. Um, and you know, and you could also say through January. I'm sorry, <laughs> through June. Uh, uh, and uh, in quite possibly through the rest of the year. Once again, if we close back below 171.02 by that 1% margin, uh, then we are off the buy signal, anticipating actually the upper 140s. And I guess I could cover that just in the event that it does happen today, the unexpected does happen. Uh, you could, if we close 169.31 or lower, you could reach for a 160 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least two to three weeks, or you could reach for uh, 148, 150 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least several months. That would be the downside play. But I think it's a bit of a moot point right now. Longer term bullish continuation expected. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Anything beyond what I've already said would be repetitious. You have a great weekend. Please click like and subscribe and check out wicketstocks.com. We'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's Apple Report. You have a great weekend.